Hello and welcome to another edition of the Reserve Report, your source for what's going on locally and around the Reserve. I'm your host, Lance Corporal Ian Leonis. Mar Admin 521-14 announced promotion requirement changes for all enlisted ranks. Effective October 1, 2015, Lance Corporals must complete the MarineNet Leading Marines course as well as attend a command-sponsored Lance Corporal seminar. Corporals must complete both the MarineNet Corporals course and attend a command-sponsored course. For more information and a complete list of requirements for all ranks, check out the Mar Admin. Up in Pennsylvania, Marines with 3rd Battalion, 14th Marines participated in Exercise Twisted Sister at Fort Indian Town Gap, October 23rd through 26th. The Marines conducted live fire training in order to exercise artillery tactics, techniques, and procedures as a battalion. Over in Quantico, Marines from around the nation attended the Reserve Combat Marksmanship Coaches course October 13th through October 26th. Our first video has more on the story. We're at the FY15 Combat Marksmanship Coach Reserve course here at Quantico, Virginia at uh, Weapons Train Battalion. The course is for uh, Marines throughout the uh, Marine Corps Reserve, uh, whether they be IRR or SMCR Marines. These Marines come here for two full weeks, working 12 to 14 hour days, and it's a lot of knowledge crammed into that two weeks. Throughout the Marine Corps Reserve, young Marines go out there on the firing line at bases all throughout the country and have to run marksmanship tables one through four or the, the new CPP program, the Combat Pistol Program. I really want to bring the new Combat Pistol Marksmanship Program back to, back to my unit, teach these Marines how to engage, how to engage quickly, be able to draw from that holster and get rounds on target as fast as possible with that pistol. The thing that's unique to the Reserve Only course is the fact that we have only reservists instructing it. The reserve instructors are phenomenal shooters on, in their own right and instructors. They are the ones that represent the Marine Corps Reserve in competitions internationally and nationally. I've personally benefited, uh, number one, as a confidence booster in my abilities in shooting and coaching Marines in shooting. Being able to now have that knowledge that I've learned from the greatest shooters in the reserves of the Marine Corps and uh, have that knowledge to take to my Marines and show them the right way to do things and to focus on the basics. It, it doesn't end here. You don't just come to the school and learn something and then that's it. There's more. There's so much more. We give them multiple opportunities, whereas some reserve unit, when they go to the pistol range, they're shooting a, a pre-qual and a qual, so blocks four and five. Here, they were able to shoot blocks one, two, three, and four, and five. So they got the opportunity to make mistakes and then learn from those mistakes so that they could become better. As we near the end of operations in Afghanistan, Marines are transitioning into new roles as a crisis reaction force. Our next video shows how Marines are returning to our amphibious roots. Five, five, and five, two. When you start talking about the Marine Air Ground Task Force, you're talking a combined arms force that's ready to jump right on it. If the wolf sniffs at the door, the United States Marine Corps will be all over that. Special Purpose MAGTEP will play a key role in the Marine Corps, one, demonstrating that it's a crisis reaction force, and two, demonstrating that it's a force that can move quickly and be on the scene no matter whether it's a opportunity or a chance or challenge to reinforce an embassy, conduct a raid, Get Get do a relief type operation or reinforce another force. As we come down for the past 12 plus years uh, culminating and ending in Afghanistan, we've been involved in more of a land operation, uh, land campaign. Now we are going back to our roots and our roots are amphibious. We'll be more involved in uh, crisis reaction. We're that force that's just sitting on the edge, just sitting just on the outside, waiting for something to happen. And when it happens, then we're ready to spring. And, and we jump, and we go after it to uh, solve it. Everywhere we have an embassy, we can reinforce that embassy with uh, what we call an in-sal team. It consists of about the uh, squad size of Marines, can break down into teams and go out and reinforce an embassy all around the world. These Marines that we made did a great job on the battlefield. And I know the Marines that have followed them will do the same thing as we keep 
that focus, that Eagle Globe and Anchor becomes our focus and says that we're the best, we're the first to fight, and we'll always be ready. That does it for this edition of the Reserve Report. As always, for more news, photos, and videos, check out our website at www.mar4res.marines.mil. I'm Lance Corporal Ian Leonis. Thanks for watching.